I'm Miguel Ayala, CEO of Aquila Aerospace. I'm an aerospace engineer that's been in the industry for over 20 years. Now, when it comes to launch, space launch, everybody thinks it's, 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 it's very difficult, and it is. It, it is very complex, it is um, lengthy, it is, co it is costly, and it's dirty. It's a very dirty, polluting business when you look at it from the, from the extraction of the raw materials to how these rockets and propulsion systems get, get um, disposed. And <clears throat> if you're in aerospace, here we have developed the propulsion technology to provide to become a green, low cost, on demand, one stop shop for uh, satellite launch, small satellite launches and um, uh, operations. Now, when it comes to CubeSats, that's where, um, where we are, where we, that's our business uh, sector where we um, provide launch services for CubeSats. CubeSats are miniature satellites. They, they can be called nano nanosatellites or um, microsatellites. These are little satellites that operate in the same way as lo much larger satellites. They, go, they get launched to space and they can be used for telecommunications, defense, um, earth imagery, a bunch of different purposes. Now, they are low cost. However, uh, and easy to build, and they're very simple, um, off-the-shelf parts and everything else. However, uh, the cost to launch uh, these cube sets is uh, typically, on average, about eighty percent of the total cost. And then the, the lengthy process—it's a lengthy process to go from uh, contract to launch, anywhere between one to six years. And that's completely—it's not practical at all when these cube sets only have a lifespan of like maybe a few months, maybe um, a few years tops. Now, here's where we come in. By being the single point of contact of the entire CubeSat assembly integration and launch process with the help of global partners and using off-the-shelf solutions, we can dramatically reduce this whole, this lengthy, costly process into this right here. We can reduce the, uh, the, the um, contract to launch lead time from one to six years down to less than a week. And how we do this with responsive operations, dedicated launch services, high launch cadence. And we do this by being able to provide a separate uh, or bundled solution to the end customer who perhaps may not even have knowledge of uh, cubes of architecture, you know, keep the building. It's like a, um, a student um, wanting to use a, com a computer. Well, you know, people should be able to buy a computer without having to learn how to build it. That's where, where we come in. We provide the CubeSets for the, for the customers that need the CubeSets. We provide the propulsion system for, the, for those customers that want propulsion systems for their CubeSets. We also provide the launch services. And um, here's where we, the customers save more by bundling more. And this is how we're different to the entire launch industry. Yes, there are hundreds of companies saying that they're going to be launching uh, rockets or, and, uh, and so on and so on. And we are up against the major players in the industry. However, we are the, one of the very few companies and we also have the most environmentally friendly propulsion technology. It's non-toxic, non-cryogenic. And this right here, you may be wondering, what does this do for us? Well, it gives us the ability to launch from anywhere around the world with uh, much, much fewer legal, environmental, political, uh, technological restrictions than, any, than everybody else in the, in the market. We do have, uh, we are for, uh, shaping up agreements with uh, uh, numerous countries around the world to set up launch operations, uh, at least in one location per continent. And this is the biggest difference. Now, when it comes to uh, the, uh, the lead time, like I said, uh, you could go, uh, you could save some money and go with SpaceX. However, you're gonna wait, wait the customer is gonna have to wait anywhere between, um, well, all the way up to 24 months to, to launch a little CubeSat. And that's completely not, not practical when the CubeSat only has a lifespan of a few years and technologies uh, continuously get updated. So, so then uh, where we come in is where, um, um, when it comes to the on-demand. Cost-wise, we're pretty comparable. We are on the lower end, but really the biggest uh, differentiator is the, the, the lead time. The big, big fat juicy red line there. Uh, <clears throat> we, we can launch, we can go from contract to launch within a month. That's the biggest appreciator with, uh, with all the launch companies. And uh, this is a big market, currently $20 billion plus, and um, uh, estimated to grow to $90 billion so by, um, by 2030. 
And this is how you enter the market. People assume that the, the space launch industry is very, very saturated, very uh, uh, low, low, uh, high capex, low long term to revenue. Well, we already have products in the market. We have CubeSets on the, in the market. Already, um, we already have contracts. And this is us, so uh, residents of NASA and top aerospace companies. We have uh, some you know, some very well known advisors that uh, are helping us with multiple aspects of what we're doing. And this is the ask rate currently raising $2 million in a seed through convertible note. We've already raised uh, half a million dollars and we have another 1.5 million to go over the next uh, month, actually. And this, this should position, um, this is how we intend to spend these, uh, these funds. Basically at this point, the biggest, uh, the biggest expense is going to be uh, conducting a orbital launch demo by the end of the year. And that should prepare us for orbital launches in two years with additional races in the future. No, with all of that, we should be positioned for an early exit within three to five years with the one billion plus valuation. And for that, there are other companies that can be uh, looked at for comparison, like Astra, Rocket Lab, Firefly, Virgin Orbit, and many others. And then eventually, if we keep going, if we keep um, um, progressing on our own, then we're looking, we could be looking at IPO. Some some uh, examples to look at for that would be like SpaceX. And this is uh, this is a summary. This is affiliate aerospace currently raising two million dollars. Current valuation eight million dollars. Um, we we do have fifteen million dollars plus in contracts. We have two hundred fifty million dollars plus in LOIs, and we have we are patenting our propulsion technology, and we have lots of opportunities for non-dilutive funding from the government. Thank you.